ఇందులో వస్తుందా మాట్లాడాలా అవసరం లేదు ఓకే సో నౌ థింగ్స్ హ్యావ్ బిన్ అరేంజ్డ్ అండ్ వీల్ నౌ ఇది క్లోజ్ చేసిన ఇది కూడా మినిమైజ్ యా మై నేమ్ ఈస్ పిఎస్ఎస్ మూర్తి ఏంటి నా పేరుతో రాలేదా ఓకే ఇంకోటి కూడా ఉందండి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇంకొక పీపీటీ కూడా ఉంది గీతం స్కైప్ అని ఇది వెల్కమ్ టు ది సబ్జెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ అకౌంటింగ్ విచ్ వీ ఆల్సో కాల్ యాజ్ అకౌంటింగ్ ఫర్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ పిఎస్ఎస్ మూర్తి ఐ పొజెస్ ఏ డాక్టరేట్ ఇన్ ఫినాన్షియల్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఐ ఆమ్ ఎ ఫెలో మెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ది ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ కాస్ట్ అకౌంటెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా విచ్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ రీక్రిస్టైండ్ యాజ్ ది కాస్ట్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అకౌంటింగ్ అకౌంటెంట్స్ రాదర్ వెల్ before we go into the subject let us see india has been shot into prominence because we have been sending lot of satellites see a satellite is a projection mostly an upward movement into the space and any upward movement requires what is called some velocity so every satellite requires an escape velocity which has been computed as 11.2 km per second square for those who are uh, space uh, scientists or space uh, interested persons i am not i can only know that much the basic uh, takeaway for us from that is any movement basically vertical requires an escape velocity basically a velocity for all of you what you require is a knowledge velocity knowledge velocity from your positions you may be moving horizontally but we expect you to grow growth presupposes a basically a sort of a upward vertical movement and this upward vertical movement in any executive's life requires that she needs more and more inputs that's about the basic intro if you have heard me and if you could listen to me if you have listened to me kindly type yes okay now take for example any management education generally everybody would like to be called as a manager because we think that this is the designation or this is the position which gives us or which brings us some privilege among the rest of the people but if you take who is a manager in the strict sense of it everyone is a manager i rate my mom as the best manager in my house because uh, she is the chief executive of the house though my dad was there is more a president of the house talking very rarely and then we also have in mother lot of designations like the chief personnel officer chief public relations officer chief finance officer and uh, guest relations operations general well being name whatever all these things have been rolled into her position as a manager so these days we don't call a a woman who is not employed for her own reasons as the how uh, uh, as the housewife but we say 
she is the homemaker anybody who makes is a leader is another srushti karta we can say but then what exactly we mean by management if you have seen the literature of management there may be umpteen number of definitions that might be there in the concept and scope and techniques of management but if you take a very generic definition management is nothing but getting the things done through others management is an act of getting the things done through other people does it mean i am escaping my responsibility and then asking others only to do it no if that is the case <laughs> we only say that you are bossing around but then that leads to another interesting question as to what or who is a boss can any one of you type very briefly in three or four words who or what a boss is according to you quickly the one who ordered to do the work is boss okay that is one way of definition that is given by raj shaker and let me also hear from one or two people quickly so that we can move on further then another thing that i would like to ask you is is bossing around a bad word from gautam has given one who direct group to complete work okay uh, then i i i am asking whether bossing around is a bad word bossing around is bad that's what uh, anu madam was telling okay yes it has a negative connotation these days wonderful of course it is bad so more or less of all the people who are present here uh, you are all of the opinion that bossing around is a bad word okay fine but we always speak in management literature as boss subordinate relationship that was the vocabulary that we used 40 or 50 years ago for a period of time we have there is a paradigm shift in the way that we are looking at the things now we don't say boss or subordinate we always say in a very tech in a very highly conceptual terms as value creators all of us are value creators that means we create value i create value you create value but in the process of creating the value our skills our experience our attitude our behavior and our other interpersonal skills of course which are covered under attitude these will be separating some people and then put them in a slightly higher or advantageous position that is how you come across managers a manager is one who gets the things done through others is what we said that does not mean he is not doing the things he also knows what is to be done if you have seen a chef or a cook or for example mom mom knows the various varieties of dishes to cook to please the family members no doubt about it but when once the daughter in law comes into the house she does the succession planning 
that is she merely says she merely gives the direction and then say look your culture and our culture in terms of the food eating or food making are slightly different maybe you use these many ingredients or these many less ingredients we use these many ingredients because most of the people are yet to be extend to your style or culture of cooking may i suggest to make some changes in the way you prepare and then she knows use this much of quantity less use that particular ingredient more this is how she will be shooting the directions in that case we call her as manager that means she gets the things done through others she also knows how to do it in case the daughter in law is ill or she is unable to do anything a modern mother will says don't worry i am here i will help you you simply observe management by observing so how you are going to do she will be in a position to get it up it's not a rocket science similarly if you go to a musician music composer for example in telugu there are so many music beautiful music comp composers let us say uh, for example i personally like uh, devi c prasad's tuning is wonderful so what i say is if devi is there as a music director devi knows all the instruments to play the stringed instruments the percussion instruments the jazz the vocal and everything the rap but can he do all those things he cannot because it is physically impossible what he does is he delegates he delegates means he empowers he says was you are very good in guitar so try to use these guitar bits more for background music or in a duet or in other thing and in the case of others <clears throat> depending upon the actor for which the song is going to be composed so this actor is a fast paced dancer so we require lot of drums or lot of uh, percussion instruments to be used so that he can dance well so there could be another kind of guy who is a specialist in that that is how he will be getting the things done through others those are called the managers and a manager is a person she or he does what is called planning controlling communicating directing coordinating etc there could be the order could be different but this is how we will they will be doing planning organizing controlling communicating directing coordinating budgeting blah 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 all these things a manager will be successfully doing here i am not going to discuss the difference between a manager and a leader because that is not uh, the scope of the lecture please understand that a manager is there apart from doing all these things like for example planning is looking into the future organizing is organizing the resources that you have like men material machines and money and then controlling controlling means not in the negative sense of it trying to align everybody will be behaving in such a way that the goals of the organization are commonly con commonly conveyed and then for example achieved then communicating obviously you should know directing whether what you are doing is proper or not you try to direct coordinating for example we are talking to x and talking to y and then trying bringing x y a together for the purpose of accomplish accomplishing the objective z that is how we will be doing the coordination part of it i just give me a break can we me see see am i going to see chat me i'm sorry there is a slight technical hitch uh, now 
when we say the role played by a manager he or she performs all the above functions but why these functions are to be performed these functions are to be performed so that a corporation an organization or a company whether it is a government company or whether it is a commercial enterprise or a religious organization or a political organization or a family setup has a common objective and this objective has to be accomplished by the people who are there that is the basic objective of management beyond that let us not worry about it okay now let us come back to the management course you are going to pursue your management academic career being already performing executive jobs you are already a manager you want to hone or sharpen or broaden or widen or deepen your skills so that you can be a better performer a better manager and then just like the rocket that i told you in the beginning you also develop the executive capacity to be launched into higher orbits that is the basic idea a typical management course of any university of any b school has an amalgam of various things the first thing is you will start with what are called concepts of management then you have few tools and you have few techniques of management and you have integrating courses i am sorry i couldn't type properly integrating courses are going to be there so we have seen concepts tools techniques integrating courses and then some capstone course means a course which brings different perspectives different techniques that you have studied and uh, another thing that we do is we also do what is called bring in technology these days digitization these two aspects will be brought into the fold of the uh, management so that these particular things earlier were not discussed that much were not studied that much now when you take technology uh, assimilation has been there technology diffusion is there this technology diffusion has become a disruptive model in the sense the conventional models have been completely changed overnight thanks to the technology see technology is such that everybody is so impatient that they want to decide the fate of the world the fate of the entertainment the fate of the knowledge the fate of the sports this fate of anything by using their thumbs in a hand held device imagine for a while your life if you do not if you were to forget your mobile phone for about few hours or for example when you go home tired and then you would like to relax looking at the tv but your son or your wife has misplaced the remote you feel miserable so such is the amount of a technology invasion into our lives so we need to be conscious of that and another thing is everything is being digitized so much so we would like to avoid less we would like to avoid human uh, force and then would like to reduce wherever possible the human count and do it with automation digitization technology these are the uh, things that are going to be uh, there in the thing so we would like to bring in those aspects also into various concepts tools techniques integrating courses capstone courses that we are going to study by inter uh, weaving these with the as i told you technology and digitization okay of the various concepts that we will be studying or we will be uh, offering as part of the the course that we are going to be offering to you one uh, important thing uh, is financial accounting 
my basic stock question that i ask so many people is how many of you hate accounting how many of you hate accounting you please type you can be very frank because accounting is not my course i happen to study it i have no special affection so you may say yes or no you may hate you may not hate are you hearing my uh, lecture could you am i uh, audible to you first which type of account sir general accounting sir generally accounting word itself i am not specifying whether it is this accounting do you like accounting or not yes somebody we don't hate but not interested in it excellent not really wonderful so the task has become more challenging to me somehow always uh, anu madam makes the task not easy for me because for the people who are not interested it is now my responsibility to motivate you or at least try to see whether you will be interested or not a quite a formidable task let me see what i can do well anyway why the hatred comes to accounting because though i am also an accountant by qualification most of the times i think that what is all this accounting for everything you want me to write you want me to uh, maintain a record you want me to follow a particular procedure i am you have you are very finicky that this particular has to be, uh, this procedure has to be followed that is what i like i am a free flowing guy or a girl and i don't like i don't want to be encased in your process this is a basic uh, basic argument that people say and then they say all this debit credit balance sheet whatever is all boring is all bunkum i i don't somehow i'm not uh, very comfortable nothing wrong in saying that you can say that for example coding may be boring to me but i have unless you code you can't deliver your code to the uh, customer but then we have to go through but there is a method there is a process that we need to follow so before we call it as financial accounting i would like to change the title to accounting for management when i say accounting for management the basic idea is i am going to sell my product to my customers which hopefully will be more appealing if i say financial accounting hey come on it's another commerce class i am not interested i am an engineer i am some some other non commerce grad and i, I don't want to be rammed down uh, through my head, uh, throats <clears throat> that is why what i would like to do is bus this is a subject which is meant for you people only and this subject is going to help you in your managerial life you feel much better you you feel that you are not an isolated guy when somebody talks about some uh, concepts like net profit net loss below the line item above the line item share uh, capital dividend uh, market capitalization and all such funda that when people speak you will not be said wow these are all the things i don't know nothing like that these are all what i am telling you common sensical terms accounting in a way makes common sense difficult that is the only thing i would like to say common sense made difficult is your accounting so what is this common sense being made difficult you all know everybody knows what is profit or what is loss what is bargaining what is a transaction 
suppose you go to a vegetable vendor and you try to buy vegetables which your wife or your mom or somebody in the house asks you to get we think that it is a boring task for most of the men including me so what we will do is i will bargain with that lady look charge 1 rupee or 2 rupees more i don't mind but try to put best of the commodities in my basket so that when i reach home i will not have to incur the wrath of my wife that is the basic thing i would like to tell suppose you go to shopping with your wife and when you want to buy more immediately she will say why are you doing that i know how to bargain you don't know how to bargain and kind of argument that takes place then there will be a wonderful bargaining process negotiation process taking place between the wife and then the vegetable vendor and in 9 out of 10 occasions the vegetable vendor will be selling the product to the same price which the housewife bargains that is the beauty of uh, negotiation which uh, a, a wife is uh, capable of we are not having that particular technique no problem but then they know what is a transaction what in this what have been the transaction is the wife exchanges money and then gets the vegetables in return so there is giving aspect and there is receiving aspect so every event which we call as a transaction has the receiving aspect and the giving aspect this receiving receiving aspect and the bc and the giving aspect we are going to classify in a particular coded language and that is what we call as accounting beyond that it is not a rocket science and people mostly from the non accounting background have been excelling very well in uh, many of the accounting or finance subjects if you take any investment companies or if you take the big four uh, uh, finance companies accepting the audit which has to be done by chartered accountants most of the others are they are iit engineering graduates having graduated in electrical mechanical civil and then it and over a period of time after 5 or 10 years they will be heading important financial companies so they might not have known or they might not have studied accounting at their youth but then they will be practicing what the so called accountants do so nothing about uh, the topic being uh, interesting or not it is how much as long as uh, uh, you are completely not disassociated it will be definitely be more interesting then uh, what is the other one that we need to do so i am trying to change the slide let me see yeah what is the agenda what is accounting why study accounting what are the branches of accounting what are the or what is the course outcome these are what we will be studying here when i say what is accounting i am not going to be very bookish i am not going to for example unleash lot of definitions of accounting from different books don't worry about it why study accounting that is what i will try to be dwelling and what are all the different branches of accounting if you take accounting as a tree what are all the branches what are all the leaves what are all the fruits that you are going to get are the flowers and what does the course expect from you to so see that you will be very comfortable with the particular course contents see if you have seen this accounting is basically counting essentially counting god what happened to this yeah essentially counting what is that you are counting you and me count money time resources and other thing how many of you count money or don't count money tell me do you count money or not 
I'm unable to see the chart huh? once again. First, start video, mute, manage participants, annotate, pause, share. Give me a minute, huh? because I just would like to see. Because I missed out in the chart part of it. That is why I am slightly, I'll just come back. Yeah, uh, only thing why I have stopped is because I was looking for the chart so that uh, uh, whether you are doing it, uh, let me see chart once again. Your voice is not audible, sir. Now is it, uh, is it uh, audible, sir? Now is it audible? Is it audible? Is it audible? Yes, it is audible. Yes, okay. It is audible, sir. Okay. Now, so far in my uh, sharing of whatever, are you, uh, am I making any sense? Am I making any Sense. Please let me know. Okay. Now we keep counting as we say, you and me count money. Tell me who is the person who does not count money. Everybody counts money. And everyone makes out a distinction between a scrap paper and a currency note that does not require much of a skill. Anyone can easily make out that you cannot fool them. And then you also count time. Are we not going to count time? Today we are going to count time because our session started at 10 o'clock and then there were some hitches or five minutes or 10 minutes we would have lost. So what is the last time? What is the effective time? What is the total time? That is what we will be doing. And resources. What are the resources? Apart from time and money, you also use some material. You also consume certain things which the nature gives you freely and certain things which you buy from the nature. While while air is free in the world, you don't have to pay any resources. But if you use it indiscriminately, then it may lead to air pollution where you may have to count the number of losses of life that has been done. You would have seen the Bhopal gas tragedy. Because of pollution, because of the release of some obnoxious gases in the environment, so many people have lost their uh, lives. That is also a resource. And other things. What are the other things that you may be counting? There are things which apparently you may not count, but you have to count. Like an opportunity. O-P-P-O-R-T-U-N-I-T-Y. Any opportunity 
that has been lost has to be counted. Can you give any example of an opportunity? How many of you are comfortable in cricket, including women? I'm not saying that only men. Anugaru and others, women who are present, do you like cricket? Or do you like football? Yes. See, we have seen that at a, at a, also cricketers, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, for example, a very crucial over is being bowled by Bhubaneswar and that wicket is crucial and then the person in the slips region is uh, very is not very alert and then he puts down the catch. So you have to count the opportunity. That opportunity has been lost. If only I have caught, I would have won the match. Does not help. So everyone has to be uh, interested in counting these sacrifices, resources, time, money, material, machine time, how much of the time that I have used, not used, idle time, everything is capable of being counted. That is what an accounting, that is why most of the accountants are called as the bean counters. They are being nicknamed as the bean counters and then they were looked down with a lot of contempt. But then you can't avoid an accountant uh, at the end of the day. And the third bullet says, this counting is done in a systematic manner following few principles, it becomes accounting. There are certain, it has to be done in a systematic manner. What is a systematic manner? System demands that there is what is called repeatability. There is objectivity. Then there is reusability then the results are predictable, then you follow a particular rhythm, that is what we call as the systematic manner. Systematic manner means if I do, I follow the procedure, Anu Madam follows the procedure, Ramya Sri follows the procedure, Rajashekar follows the procedure, or Shukla follows the procedure, all of us will be arriving at the same result. That is what we mean by systematic manner following few principles. If you follow the systematic principles, it obviously becomes an accounting. Well, whether we are going to be accountants or not, is right now, uh, what we say is, uh, we know that I'll come to your question. Whether we follow the principles to become an accountant or not, let us understand our objective. Are we going to be accountants? No. We are all managers. Are you going to be managers fresh? Maybe, may not be because already you are a manager. But this particular subject of accounting or management concept that you are studying is going to hone your skills for better and the end result is you are going to be a better and effective manager rather than a good accountant. I don't want you people to be good accountants. Then I will be failing in my duty. I am supposed to teach accounting to non-accounting students in a non-accounting manner. Then only the beauty of the course could be realized. Now we know the short question. We recently had a change in accounting system in India. Can you throw some light on it, sir? I will definitely throw a light, but the basic idea, purpose of this course is merely giving an intro to what is accounting. Then at the appropriate time, I shall take your query and try to share whatever I have on it. Is that okay, sir? If it is okay, please type okay. If it is not okay, say not okay. Fine. Then the fourth bullet says that it is a major quantitative information system in any organization. Suppose you are working in Infosys. How Infosys has done? See, at the end of the day, everybody is interested that the Q2 results or the Q3 results 
of uh, uh, infosys are very exciting infosys has among this much of profit so you might have uh, for example 50000 employees you may be having a uh, 5 million uh, square feet of uh, the space you may be having about 5 lakh computers or laptops or servers or systems or security people all these things are quantitative information system no doubt about it but that alone is not going to explain anything to you but we must be in a position to express them in monetary terms by counting them that will give you what is called your accounting system so may accounting is a major quantitative information system other information systems are physical information system inventory information system etc they are there but over and above integrating every information system you have accounting which is a major quantitative information system and the last bullet in this slide is all our efforts are expressed through money whether you are capable of expressing them or not you unless you express in money terms it won't be called as accounting i cannot say i have a wonderful chief executive there is nothing like a wonderful chief executive in accounting or i have a wonderful team member the team member may be very handsome or may or may be very what you call bewitching but that is not going to help me as an accountant whether she or he has brought some revenues to the company or not that is how much of money i have to pay to get that wonderful chief executive or to that bewitching team member or to that handsome team member these are the things so everything has to be expressed through money i cannot say see i have been struggling hard sir i have been burning the midnight oil all these are fancy english i understand but this fancy english must be capable of being expressed in monetary terms in rupee terms in dollar terms then only we will call it as accounting our accounting requires that these are all your efforts be expressed through money the suppose when you are evaluating dhoni you cannot say how old dhoni is or what is the advertising revenue that he got it whether he has delivered the punch whether he has stick on into the game whether he has scored taken 114 balls to score 87 runs or not whether there were five dot balls in the 44th over or not these are to be expressed but not merely saying whether he has a wonderful relationship with his uh, wife is none of our botheration so all your efforts are to be expressed through money that is the thing uh, is it okay yeah as told in the previous slide it is a quantitative information system and every accounting information system raises important questions because any system which raises interesting important informative questions will be of use to us because if a science is there that does not raise any questions there is nobody that means you can't do anything for example uh, your wife or your mom prepares an excellent dish and then you eat in a very mechanical manner you don't say it is good or bad or average or passable or whatever you are indifferent they will be in a what you call very awkward position they may not be liking your attitude what we require is some sort of a feedback some sort of an evaluation of what you have done do you agree or not if you agree say yes do you want some feedback in what you have done yes sir no okay yes sir somebody typed it yeah now the important questions that i am going to suggest are one is score card questions there are three questions three sub bullets i have written score card attention directing problem solving 
we will take one by one what is your score card question score card questions merely accumulates data how much of score how many overs are bowled how many balls are bowled how many runs have been scored what are the uh, balls not scored like dot balls and how many leg buys how many buys how many scored by the batsman etc etc this is all score card whether you have the, whether your score is 300 or 400 or 500 that is a score card that means here you only gather the data data accumulation is done through the score card questions am i doing well how do i know what is your score you have started the thing and then somebody says what is the score so say for example 114 for 5 then in how many overs that is the score card second one is attention directing questions attention directing questions are questions posed to draw the attention of the manager so once again starting with the cricket we will move to the business so attention directing is boss already 40 overs are over you have only 10 overs left and these two people who are there in the crease have to be very conscious of the number of overs that are there and the scoring to be done for example 75 runs is to be done and then it is only 12 overs that are remaining that are left over so 75 runs 72 balls that is the equation so it draws your attention boss you have to score more than one run per ball that is statistically speaking third one is problem solving questions in the case of problem solving question the problem is you are unable to push through the score then what dhoni said yesterday he was trying to see who are all the troubled pace bowlers first he wants to see them off so that they will be completing their quota then other doable things are there when once he has tackled a major hurdle minor things are not hurdle to him and then he has achieved the thing in four ball four balls less that is problem solving whether to accelerate your speed or whether to go only for fours or sixes or even singles or ones or twos also are there whether you can convert a one into two or two into three or three into four these are all the things that come come across in the problem solving questions similarly if you take a corporation scorecard questions i have gathered lot of data there are about 1 lakh transactions that have taken place in my company and attention directing attention directing questions are when i have prepared my cash account i have seen that there is a cash shortage in the current month and the cash shortage is going to be there in the coming one or two months also that means for about 3 months i have cash shortage if i have cash shortage the daily operations will be affected so the problem solving question says the accountant when he comes to you he will only draw your attention to that he will not be solving because you are the manager he says sir this is the problem sir i have uh, a cash deficiency sir next month also same thing and for 3 months to come i don't think that we will have enough cash in the business uh, i am trying to bring it to your uh, attention then you cannot tell the accountant nay why don't you get more cash he cannot get more cash he can only draw the attention the problem has to be solved by you as a manager as a superior then use all the techniques of planning staffing organizing controlling coordinating communicating to draw to do this so what do you do you ask the accountant you plan a meeting with the branch manager of a bank you and the accountant goes there organizing then staffing you alert the staff that prepare try to identify the areas where i need to make immediate payment and then you talk to the bank manager try to get some loan or whatever or a overdraft and try to tide over the difficulty in the next 3 months after 3 months you are expecting good cash because all your customers are likely to pay up and then you will get more business more cash and the more cash will try to be siphoned off to the banker to settle the loan with the things so this becomes a 
problem solving question so any accounting information system will be raising these three important questions and it has to be structured in such a way that first of all you must have to gather the data whatever has happened first record then put them in the data that is your scorecard then attention directing what are the weak areas what are the uh, challenging areas what are the areas which require your immediate attention what are the areas which could be postponed what are the areas which are middle term what are the areas which are to be done at the end of the quarter that you will be in a position to prioritize these things as a manager if you cannot prioritize you are unfit to be a manager very sorry to say that then problem solving questions that is of all the uh, 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 priorities that you have there then which is the most important thing least important reasonably important then try to arrange it one by one this you would have also done in your time management quartet urgent important not urgent not important is it that whether we can postpone them or not you can also go through the time management uh, uh, quartet in your uh, personality development classes which is beyond the scope but then that is very important now for few businesses and non uh, and uh, non business firms it is a legal requirement to maintain accounts see now coming to the mandatory part there are certain things that we are supposed to do what are supposed to do first is have an accounting system and maintain books whether it is for business or for non business firm a non business firm like a hospital is there or an educational institution is there or your thirumal tirupati devasthanam is there there you are supposed to maintain accounts so that everybody will be knowing whether you have been following this system or not simply because uh, lord venkateshwara is not talking to you that does not mean you can take him for a ride by not maintaining accounts you are supposed to maintain accounts it is as per the government or legal requirement then the fourth bullet is it also enables one to know how one is doing how are you performing for example in many of your organizations how you are performing is decided by what are called what are called as your kras is that key result areas so these key result areas you will also be defining in a quantifiable terms can you say to your boss sir next time onwards i will do wonderfully sir you just give me an opportunity sir i will wow you it will be my performance will be awesome my performance will be terrible whether these words are acceptable if they are acceptable type yes are they acceptable quick quickly type no sir no wonderful rajeshekar sir said no ramya uh, said no i presume it depends on the situation sandeep to everyone oh what are the situations sir when you can say wow well, i don't think if my boss asks me suppose anu madam is my boss she says murthy you are not doing a good job in the class or uh, wow, how do you do uh, ma'am next time i will be doing a wow part of it she says no what is this wow part you quantify it damn it you tell me how you are going to do it that is it so why uh, we know the uh, says while i agree to all i am unable how unable to uh, related ac how accounting is related bullet uh, which which one uh, you referring to in the same slide same slide yeah accounting provides what basically accounting provides a information on the resources that you have spent and resources are not freely available when you want to do a particular business or achieve an objective you have to sacrifice the resources so make a database of all the resources that you have sacrificed 
which gives you scorecard questions. Of all these resources that you have sacrificed, let us suppose cash also is a very important resource. How much cash has been knocked off from the business? You are having a cash crunch. So draw the attention of the manager or your boss that look boss, we don't have enough of cash. Then problem solving question is in terms of taking into account boss, the particular cash, we want it immediately. So let me try to take this problem. Let me solve this problem by approaching a banker or other financial institution to get the to get enough cash. This is how you will be doing it. That is how the what we call accounting is related. Then let us suppose sometimes you may have cash. I don't have any cash problem. Fortunately, I have cash. Somehow it so happened that I am unable to get more and more customers. Your scorecard, your database says that you have been making cold calls. But these cold calls are not being converted to revenue. Then there is an attention. What is the attention directing question? You tell that so far we have made about 1000 cold, call, cold calls and then our strike rate is hardly 2%. That means 2 upon 1000, 2% 2 upon 1000 is hardly 20 people have responded. That is the attention directing questions. Then problem solving. How do you try to do the problem? The problem is how much of more amount you have to spend to train your salespersons to be very good speakers or convincingly try to make an appeal. Uh, for example, some of them are not so interested they take up the job mechanically, so their cold call may be irritating to them. In order to make it pleasing, try to give them some training and then try to spend some money, which is where your resources are drained. And that is how also you might be uh, doing the problem solving. That is how accounting is related to these things. Is it clear now, Mr. Rajesh, uh, Mr. Uh, Vinod? Please let me know. Okay, now uh, what we need to do is performance. How your performance is to be, any performance that is to be there, whether it is physical performance, financial performance, on the job performance, how you are doing is number. I want a number, no English, only number. That number is in terms of whether the money that I have brought to do the business has been properly utilized or not, or whether I have eaten money without bringing any benefit to the people. That is the most important thing that one has to understand when it comes to the performance. That performance, the only way of finding out is through monetary, through the, through the money. That is why we have the accounting information system. Then branches of accounting. We have a lot of <coughs> branches that are there. One is financial accounting, general accounting. What is the basic idea of financial accounting? In case anybody asks, what did you learn in today's lecture? You have spent about three hours or two hours, you'll be spending. Somebody asks you, what is so great about it? What is that you have learned about accounting in today's interaction? Then it is simple. Bas, basically accounting system tries to give me a progress report. Progress report of what? Progress report about the financial performance. Why not other performance? Yes, but mostly in the case of accounting, we are interested in measuring the resources sacrificed and the benefits obtained and whether we are better off or worse off. Tomorrow, you got fed up with your job, you want to start your business. Okay. Suppose when you are working, you are getting about, you are making about 25 lakhs per annum, assuming. Now, when you have taken up employ, uh, when you have taken up your own uh, uh, new company, you are hardly earning 12 lakhs. Then what? Your progress is not good. Then it is uh, this financial accounting says that you are not better off doing your own company initial years. Maybe if you could survive for some more time, 
you will be earning more than 25 lakhs or if it is not otherwise better get back to your job that is in the case of financial accounting you will be knowing how your resources have been spent wisely or unwisely you have magni you have maximized your resources that is your money or other things or you have eaten away or you have destroyed the wealth that is the most important thing whether you are a shareholder of infosys or whether you are a stakeholder of jet airlines or whether you are a stake whether you are a guy who wants to buy air india or whether you are a person who wants to put some brand value to virat kohli all these things you require accounting information and then that is what we call as the financial accounting information which is purely general what is the basic idea the end product of financial accounting is preparation of final accounts what are final accounts these are accounts prepared at the end of the year maybe 12 months or maybe 6 months or maybe quarterly or maybe monthly or maybe whatever is the period if you have chosen a period what is the progress card compared to 2018 january uh, 18th ja ja january 17th of 2019 how is it is it exciting in terms of getting more money have you got more money have you got more sales have you uh, pur purchased more and sold less or purchased more and sold also more have you employed 10000 people and have you uh, come across good profit these are all the issues or questions that we need to worry about it somebody said is it c anyway then second thing is cost accounting in the case of cost accounting we would like to see uh, before that financial accounting i i, I told you that the uh, objective is to prepare a progress card that progress card we call as the final accounts the final accounts are nothing but profit and loss statement and balance sheet profit and loss statement which we also call as the income statement is nothing but how much profit our company has made during the last year what is profit nothing but excess of revenue over expenditure or excess of income over expenditure suppose your salary is a lakh rupees per month and you spend all expenses put together about 75000 rupees that 25000 rupees that you have is your profit for an individual we call it as surplus or saving but for a corporation we call it as profit because their objective is to make some profit that is the basic purpose so a income statement is nothing but a statement which shows how much you have spent and how much of the revenue that you have got it and what is the difference between these two which you call it as the profit then we also say something like a balance sheet what is a balance sheet it is essentially a sheet of paper which has to be properly balanced how it will be balanced it will be balanced it depends on how you prepare for example on the one hand you show what are all the possessions that you have what belongs to you you write on one side and what belongs to others you write on the other side so both the sides must be equal then the balance sheet is tallied the otherwise balance sheet shows the summary of financial position as on a particular date balance sheet shows the financial position as on a particular date which we also call as vinod shukra typed as assets and liabilities what is an asset asset is a property belonging to the company liability is an obligation that the company has to pay to others so can you think of not having any liabilities is it possible not to have any liabilities tell me type no no impossible you must have and you will be having assets and liabilities suppose you buy a car is your car a liability or an asset please type is the car or the house that you buy or that you bought 
is it a asset or a liability asset somebody said liability somebody said okay why it is an asset ramya says liability if taken on loan it is liability good very good that is whether you have studied accounting or not slowly you have been sucked into your thing like you know what is the liability what is a loan what is an asset etc okay for an individual if you buy a car what is the basic idea of buying a car tell me what is the basic idea of buying a car why do you buy a car convenience wonderful anything else anything else to travel comfortable yes earlier we used to buy the car for prestige even now also some cars are priced at 7 crores to 8 crores which our bahubali prabhas has purchased it that is a celebrity car you can buy a cheaper car or a better car or a very comfortable car or a very luxurious car it's up to you depending upon your there can be so many reasons well but suppose you have to pay you have to take 60% loan and then buy it then you will be thinking is it worthwhile taking the loan or not because you have to pay loan interest you have to pay car maintenance you have to pay fuel to the car so all these three expenses how much you will be spending on the other hand if you hire a taxi if you go by ola or uber will it be less costly less cheaper or whatever or for example i would like to go by a simple auto and then which drops me at the nearest metro station and then i get into the metro and then go so what how are you going to define your transportation needs that is also is a very very important there could be many reasons but a company buys property with the purpose of earning revenue while buying the car do you earn any revenue when you buy a car do you earn any revenue please type it if you have earned revenue let me see no 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 but you will earn revenue when you want to dispose of your car yes suppose i i want to sell off my car i got bored of using the same car for 2 to 3 years then i want to change my car then i will be doing that is a once in a way transaction once in a way event where i will get some money but i am a, if you are a car dealer suppose you are an authorized dealer for maruti showroom then you keep all the cars and then sell the cars for some commission then the purpose is different the purpose is not merely tr your transport you are trying to ensure the transport for others by providing the thing and how you have done it for example if you ask the chairman of the corporation you have started a new company let's suppose three of you have started and then you pumped in some money each has pumped in about 50 lakhs and then the total money has come to about 2 crores four of you and suddenly one of you says now why not i buy a bench car which cost me about 70 lakhs and use it for the office what will be your reaction you please type buying a bench car for 75 lakhs out of the capital invested of 2 crores for the business give me your reactions please quickly i hope you have heard my question stupidity wonderful mm -hmm. why it is stupidity sir why it is stupidity
it depends there will be tax exceptions mm -hmm. see exemptions okay what i want to tell both rajshekar and to vinod the idea is when you buy an asset as a businessman you are going to get some cash flows from that i am buying an asset because i want to get generate more and more cash you can you cannot get the cash from the bank unless it is a loan if it is a loan you have to return it you have to pay interest that is what we call as debt servicing that is not a prudent thing i don't i have an asset like a machinery like plant or i have an intellectual property right or i have a patent or i have a trademark which i want to use it from that for about good 10 to 15 years i want to get revenue which is nothing but sales which is nothing but can be converted to cash at a later period of time that is the basic purpose a businessman buys an asset a businessman or a business acquires asset basically for the purpose of generating more and more revenues if you have studied any uh, software comp it companies uh, quarterly balance sheet or quarterly statement given by the chairman the chairman or the managing director the director say that during the particular quarter we have acquired five clients from the fortune 100 companies fortune 100 international companies maybe they have uh, uh, 1 billion dollars and above i acquired a, uh, we are dealing business with five clients who are having whose business is more than billions of dollars then what happens then that gives you prestige that gives you competitive edge that gives you more assets that gives you more revenue that is what we need is it not and we also say that recently the company has acquired the uh, maintenance uh, the for example the some other uh, the web services part of it or the cloud computing department of uh, uh, some other company because that gives you a competitive advantage and that is the asset you purchased the benefits will be there you will get more cash so there is a clear distinct benefit of acquiring any property by any company because it is going to generate cash in the case of individual spending it is not for generating cash it is for our personal convenience for example if you have house you don't get any revenue you may get a revenue but primary objective is you are staying in the house secondary objective is you may rent it and thirdly you may be saving the money otherwise which you are going to pay for the rent is it at these three alternatives when these three alternatives are there are you not using accounting are you not using counting are you not reckoning the benefits and the costs and what is the better thing that is there for you and you also use your discretion and also you take into account what is your age for example at my age i am 60 plus i do not want to take any risk in the life risk is in terms of money i don't want to put any money in the investments i have money i have money to survive to be leading a comfortable life what more comfort i want because i i don't want i want to define comfort in my own way because of of my age suppose you are 20 25 your way of defining comfort is entirely different i want to be more adventurous i want to put my money into this particular venture and i am sure this venture is going to be good or i want to start my own business or i am not happy with this whatever whatever may be the, your motives your motives are different because our motives are different our money preferences also are different our risk perceptions also are going to be different then people might become some of us become risk averse for example i am risk averse you may become risk apathetic or you are risk you are having risk you are hungry for risk risk appetite you have more so when you have more risk you expect more return when i have less risk i don't expect any return for example i am happy if my money is safe in the fixed deposit of a particular bank or enough whatever that fellow gives me is enough because my requirements are less 
but if my requirements are more if a company is going to expand if a company wants to leave its footprint in africa or in some other countries and also in america it wants to expand it requires money it requires money means it must acquire those assets which keeps on pumping cash into the company that is the purpose am i with you please type money should make money wonderful so am i with you in terms of uh, these things okay now we will go back to the accounting again uh, you have what is called the financial accounting that we have seen and uh, cost accounting before we actually go to the cost accounting we are there in the final stages of financial accounting where financial accounting information as i told you the balance sheet and the income statement which we also called as a p and l profit and loss account statement and the balance sheet these are meant for outside parties the information that you prepare in financial accounting is for the outside parties outside parties means here uh, you are trying to provide information to uh, who to the government to the shareholders shareholders means the owners of the company and to the persons who gave money to you to run the show and also to various kinds of people who have interest in this the competitors the income tax department the banker okay the customer the employee everybody is interested in these things and for them you prepare the final accounts that means once in a year the conventional traditional progress report where we were given progress report only at the end of the year and then we used to very carefully show it to our dad in the presence of mom to incur so that we can escape his wrath but now what happened everybody wants the progress report every day that is the kind of thing that we have but that is how thing also will be changing so basic idea in financial accounting is the information you will be used to prepare the final product of balance sheet and profit and loss account and the customers of financial accounting information or your shareholders your creditors your bankers your employees your vendors and your analysts and everybody is interested that is why the way the information has to be provided is so standardized that you cannot deviate from the way the information has to be provided because everybody has to understand it in the same particular manner now come to what we call the cost accounting cost accounting is much more detailed compared to financial accounting in the case of financial accounting you deal with aggregate information system whereas in the case of cost accounting systems you deal with more analytical detailed expenses department wise division wise operation wise process wise expenditure wise and going to minutest detail which is basically which was used in the manufacturing industry earlier because when uh, they the factory system was there they were bent upon reducing the cost reducing the expenditure so obviously they were analyzing where the money is going uh, in unproductive ways and try to take a decision and try to minimize the resources to generate a maximum output that is the basic idea extending the uh, cost accounting principles to the management is what we call as the management accounting 
or whatever cost accounting systems that were used in uh, uh, in what we call the uh, in the factory they have been tried to use it to the top level to so top management also is interested come on can we get any benefit out of it because if you remember basically cost accounting systems are designed for the purpose of internal efficiency the information you don't prepare any balance sheet you don't prepare any pnl account in cost accounting the cost accounting is prepared in a very flexible manner if a manager wants in the form of a graph the information will be given in the form of a graph in the form of a diagram in the form of a table and in the form of pure description or only in one word or one figure you may be giving the information depending upon the requirements which are purely internal no outside person will have any access to the accounting so because of the flexibility the top management thought that why not we use cost accounting information also for the purpose of uh, uh, our own uh, things so accordingly the cost accounting benefits like efficiency timeliness effectiveness these things have been used for management accounting let us suppose i'll give a simple example a management of a cinema theater are thinking that they are not making much money by showing the films because uh, it's a huge hall which can accommodate about uh, five uh, 600 people and uh, uh, most of the times the occupancy is only 60% that means only 360 people are seeing it now they thought but their uh, operational expenditure has been increasing the management gets the information from the cost accountant what is happening the cost accountant will give a detailed information saying that you are spending this much sir electricity is there you can't avoid it maintenance you can't avoid it salaries to the operators you have to pay and taxes you have to pay blah 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 all those thing they say suddenly management accountant the 